Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. 6.43 a.m. There's a line of fishing boats heading out. People enjoying the weekend. If it seems hazy, it's because it is hazy. That African dust is back again. Dust comes from the Saharan Desert. And that's been happening just about every year. Everything's kind of got a brown tinge to it. 84 degrees. The heat index is 94. 94. <laughs> and the sun's just coming up. Humidity is 88%. The winds are out of the south at 14 miles an hour. A lot of activity going on here at Rockport Harbor. I'm going to make my way over and check on Luciano. I know he's been very concerned about Nancy. I would say she's been gone for about a week now. They admitted her to the hospital and he's been taking care of her stuff. The church let Nancy store her shopping cart with things in it in the gymnasium, which is very nice of them. Luciano and Nancy are homeless people here in Rockport. And I take Luciano grocery store shopping and drop him off things when I can. And of course, you guys send things to the Luciano and Nancy, and I make sure they get them. We'll swing by over there now. <laughs> that was nice of her to duck. Just checking out one of the older murals downtown here. And my friend uh, Pat Kane let me know more are on the way. Swinging by the Junk Museum. The Busted Pot. Can't drive by here without checking it out. We got Sasquatch. In case you need a big lion to complete your home decor. A lot of interesting stuff here and it, the property is for sale. I think we drove by here about a month ago and some people left information on it. A long, long time ago, I was working for someone and they used this facility as a storage for their landscaping and pool business. The Junk Museum. This is just about two blocks away from the church that Luciano sleeps at. Anchors away, folks. And we saw a mermaid yesterday. The old beetle bus door. Flamingo. Not as hazy over here, but any shot with the sky and it, it's pure haze. Always neat stuff here. You need a couple pelicans for your driveway? This is the spot. I can't really say I've ever noticed that painted walkway before. What happened to the gorilla they used to have here? Here you go. Where do apes go to cook their sausages? On the gorilla. <coughs> on the gorilla. Let's go check on Luciano. He's gotta be doing better than my jokes. <laughs> They're missing a lot of flags they usually have up. <laughs> Yesterday. You got your roommate eight, back. Hey, an ambulance brought her. Oh, nice. I know you were worried about that. On a journey, that. she was brought to here and 
Yeah. So where's her stuff? Still in the church? Oh, it's still over there in the gymnasium. Locked away. Okay. Is someone coming today? Uh, I, I text uh, Kim to see if we would be uh, she would be allowed to able to get her things out. I allow her to use my sleeping bag, and they let her have a, a blanket and so forth. And then yesterday, someone brought us another person that said they were going to be staying here, except. I sent her off to the bathrooms over there, and she never returned. But they brought her a quilt. I was in the potty over there, so I wasn't able to huh. uh, receive anything else. But they dropped off that quilt over there, okay. and she's sitting on it. Well, that's good. Hopefully, someone can come in and give her a uh, uh, touch. They said they were going to find a, a permanent home for the old, other old woman. Okay. She said she was Nancy's friend, except Nancy doesn't uh, acknowledge anyone as her friend yet. <laughs> okay. As for me, I'm okay. Uh, I, I've got bacon, eggs, uh, potatoes, so I was going to do some hash browns and eggs and bacon. Okay. You hanging out here today? Uh-huh. Okay. It's Tomorrow, of course, they're going to kick us out again. It's, it's pretty windy down by the water. Oh, yeah. All right. Good to see you, Luciano. Uh -huh. Thank you. I'll go say hi to Nancy. So Nancy's things are locked up. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Dennis. He was worried about you. Yeah, I know. Everybody was. Okay. Um, was you? I know. I noticed you weren't here. Oh, thank I, you, I, Dennis. I talked to Kim about you and uh, checked in with Luciano. So uh, I'm, I'm going to message Kim and see if we can get you your stuff today. Okay. Uh, I don't know if she's in town or went away, or, but I'll, I'll send Kim a message. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Rockport Depot. They've done a wonderful restoration job on this facility. There's my arch enemy. Utility wires. <laughs> The sun is getting up in the sky. 7.18 a.m. You know, when I got back to Wally World last night, nice people stopped by to say hello. Randy and Pam from Indiana had a nice chat with them. And uh, they blamed my videos for checking out Rockport. <laughs> So, um, Randy and Pam, very nice to meet you guys. And then a few hours later, I checked my email and they sent me a gift through PayPal. So, Randy and Pam, thank you very much. That was a very nice surprise. Greatly appreciate it. <coughs> Little goat scream for you. And uh, in their message, they mentioned that um, their cat trucker watches my videos because trucker is very interested in the bird sounds in the background <laughs> and i've had a couple people say that about the uh, cats my friend jamie mentioned that about her cats and a lot of people's dogs watch my channel because of the sound of the birds they they want to know what's going on i uh, wish youtube had a subscription count for cats and dogs because I think my numbers would vastly improve. They did a wonderful job on the landscaping here. And they also are using this parking lot as uh, overspill parking for the newly opened Rockport Center for the Arts. And there's that nice Saharan tinge to the sky that I was talking about earlier. Looks like I'm using some fuzzy special lens. It's just what we're breathing, folks. I have to head over to Wally World and pick up a few things. The old shopping at Walmart looking for new things in the camping section. Ooh, what are these? Folding cooking spoons, folding 
spatulas, seven bucks. Folding tongs, nine bucks. Three ring cutlery set, nine bucks. I don't know, my current spatula and spoons are just a little bit bigger than that unfolded. And I get along fine. Matter of fact, they sell them uh, three for a dollar ninety nine here at Walmart, and that's a little cheaper than the seven bucks each. It's a neat product, though. I also don't know how long they last with that little swivel opening feature. Hmm. At least there's a few new things today. The price of this camping stuff has really gone through the roof. I do like to make the uh, the Walmart look around, though. Always fun. I rarely buy anything in this aisle. Only because the butane's in the next aisle. The stoves are in this aisle, but the butane's in the next aisle. I guess I better get back to the real world. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.